hello everybody you're welcome once again to my youtube channel and today i'll be showing you how to send sms on your back end uh, application using twilo twilo provides you the service of sending sms sending voice call and so many other services on your platform you can go to twilo.com and sign up to see the various services being offered by twilo um, once you come on the platform, just like what I'm having on my screen, you can sign up or log in. For my, I already have an account, so I'll just click on the login and put in my login details, and I'll be I'll I'll be redirected to my dashboard page, just like what I'm having here. Now, when you scroll down on your dashboard page, you be given after successfully registering and logging in, you'll be given an account SID, an account auth token, and you also be assigned uh twilo number which you which you will use for your sms notification or every other service is being offered by twilo and it is very important you keep this um, information private um, by storing them in your emv5 or in your secret uh, or in a secret file in your server uh, application now uh, you can go to the documentation doc and support here to see the various services being offered by twilo and once i click on that uh, to redirect you to this page where you see the services, they give you SMS, voice, email, WhatsApp API, videos, and so many other services. So you click on the SMS, um, you click on the SMS doc, so you'll be redirected to this page where you get the documentation for various technology or stack. Um, they have that for Java, they have for .NET, PHP, and Node, um, so many you can see over there on the platform. So I'm using Node.js for my backend. Uh, I will click on the Node documentation and that will bring you to this uh, code snippet which we are having over here. Now to use Twilo, you need those three information which I've showed you on my dashboard. You need your account SID, you need the auth token, and you also need um, your Twilo number. So quickly, I will go to my code editor and show you how to quickly use that uh, on Node.js Express application. Okay, now this is my Node.js Express application. Um, I've already um, installed some dependencies. Uh, let me quickly show you what dependencies I've, uh, I've uh, installed some Node uh, packages. So I've already installed, um, I have Twilo installed. Uh, you need to install Twilo. Uh, I have uh, Mongoose I will, because uh, once I register a user, I want to use the uh, Mongoose um odm to store the user's information in my mongodb database and then i also have an express and um since, since this is a typescript um application i have some typescript um packages installed there for uh, me to execute this my very code now after having that then you can set up your server uh, which are, which is what i'm having here i, I set up my server and um I install, I import all the necessary dependencies, and then I did my basic setup. Um, you can check on my uh, ExpressJS uh, backend setup for a step guide on how to achieve this um, on my YouTube channel. Um, it is there, uh, and also I will drop the GitHub link for this code snippet in case you need it and you want to test it on your own. Uh, you can do well to go to the GitHub repository and get the, this uh, code snippet which uh, i'm trying to show you over here now um the very important thing i want to show you on on this code uh is um the twilo um, functionality the twilo function this is uh, very similar to the twilo code which i'm having here uh all what I, I i copied this code and i created a function for uh, on my on my um, file here I named the function um, send SMS, and this send SMS function is meant to accept two variables. I created a function here for SMS notification where I will be calling the function and then pass in the necessary variable wherever I need it. Um, so I won't have to repeat myself. So anywhere I will need to send the user an SMS, I will just call on the function and pass in the phone number and any message I want to do, I want to send to the user. Um, that will be sent, uh, that will just uh, kind of help me to kind of avoid repetition so I can, uh, you know, follow best code practices. Now, 
um, to Twilio permit you to send SMS notification to to any phone number not uh, not necessarily minding the the country region. All what you need to do is you need to indicate the country region to the number you'll be sending the SMS to. Uh, for my case, I'm in Nigeria, so I will be sending the SMS to Nigeria phone number. Uh, so I have to uh, for my on the Twilio function. The destination phone number, which is being represented by two here, um, I have to, you know, proceed that with the with the country dialing code for the phone number, and then the number that precedes, uh, and then the number can um, proceed the uh, can succeed the dialing code, which is what I'm having right here, and also um, the person sending will be the from which I'm having right here, which is uh, this this should carry your Twilio number and um, I have them imported here as I've said earlier on um, you, you have uh, you have to put them in your environmental variable so you don't get to expose them for for security reasons and um, I did that, that these are the Twilio credentials are imported over here now I exported this very function and we can go straight ahead to the the endpoint where we'll be making use of this Twilio SMS function and we we'll implement the sending of SMS to the user over there. Okay, now I have my registration endpoint here on my user route. Um, uh, not CS. Um, this is GitHub Copilot um, making some suggestion for me, so I have to disable that. So I walk you through the code. Um, step by step and you get a profound understanding on how to implement this now um, for this very endpoint I want to get some information from the user I want to get the user's name I want to get the user's phone number I want to get the user's email and then the the users um, just this couple of information from the user and then also I'll be passing a message which I want to send to the user um at this very at this very point here so um so the, the three basic information i'll be getting from the user um, let me get it from the user's request body since this is an express application i will need the user's name i will need the user's email and then i also need the user's um phone number um so i'm so this is uh, these are some of the details the user need to send in whenever he's registering so I'm, i'll be getting that from the request body and yeah so these are the basic details i'll be getting now after getting these uh, details from the user i want to store them um in the database in my already created model which i'm having here you can do well to check uh, my other tutorial series on how i created this user model using one goose and how to set it up and also imported it to this endpoint over here so um I can, you know, uh, that will return me a result actually, and it's a promise. Uh, so I have to await the result. So I can say count new user um, equal await um, user instance. Um, let me just copy that real quick here so I don't make mistake. User instance dot create. Uh, what am I creating? Uh, I'm trying to create a, a new username. And then uh, I want to create a new user email. And also I want to also create and save uh, the phone number, which will be coming uh, from the from the user's uh, request body or from the form, which will be used to send um, those information. Now, after getting this information, at this at this point, um, I've, uh, this, the user's information and record is being stored in the database. So I can then go ahead and send SMS to the user. Um, I can then go ahead and say, um, await, send SMS, and then pass in the two um, variables uh, this function required. Um, intelligence we can see over here is this function required the phone number which will be uh, the phone number of the user who, who will be receiving the message and then also the message I would like to be sending to the user um, but first thing first let me create our message let message 
which I want to send to the user is equals to um, just say welcome to soft. Okay, now the I can then go ahead and pass in on those two information phone number and message. All right. So this is an express application and I need to you know, uh, respond. I need to send back a response um, by saying um, um, rest.status uh, is status of 201, which means I've uh, successfully created a user. Dot JSON, uh, let me send back a JSON object of um, the user of um, um, let me send a message success and then uh, the new user that was um, just created okay um um so this is basically how to uh, create a user send an sms and then return back a response um but should in case they um, um i have to you know cut the whole of this code and put it in a try catch block should in case there is an error somewhere and um the code happens to break in maybe from the, the server side or as a result of um, the user input so I put um, every of the code I've written on the try block and then in the cache, I'll put in, um, I'll respond with the status 500. This is a server side error. And then I'll send uh, a JSON message of um, the message. fail to create user. So as basically it, uh, right now I can just go ahead and start my server. Um, on the script, I have uh, I've written a script on how to start the server by running on uh, yarn start or yarn dev since I'm using yarn for as my package manager. So I can go ahead and write yarn start to start my server. Um, so while the server is coming up, I can go ahead and test this um, application uh, using Postman, which is um, a testing tool for your REST API. So while the server is coming up, uh, so the server is started and it's listing on port 4303. Um, okay, so I go to Postman and I pass in a name passing a phone number, passing an email. Um, this message is actually not needed. I can remove that and test my endpoints. Okay. So um, it successfully created a user and then uh, I've successfully sent an SMS to the phone number that was passed in from the front end. So that, that's basically how to make use of Trello to send SMS to user using Node.js and thank you very much for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe and share the video.